happy Monday. I've got a slightly longer daily positive message for you today than usual, but I want you just to sit back, listen and relax and see if this can help you a bit. Positivity is the thing that drives us to have a good day or a bad day. And it's all very well wanting to be positive, but actually that can be quite difficult. Positivity needs feeding. It's like if you want to make money, it's easier to make money if you've got a bit of money, because if you've got a bit of money in your pot, you can then take a little bit out and risk it and invest it and try something new, but no, you've still got your safety net there. So it's the same with positivity. If you've only got a little bit left in your reserves, it's very frightening sometimes to risk that bit of positivity to try and grow it. But I'm here to tell you that positivity needs feeding, it needs nurturing, it needs loving, just as you do. So there are different things you can do to feed your positivity. And the first thing is to allow positive thoughts to come to the surface. Right now, I know a lot of you would say that you're living in fear. You're living in fear of catching the virus. You're living in fear of losing your income. You're living in fear of losing a loved one. So fear can be the overwhelming feeling that we're dealing with, the overwhelming emotion that we're dealing with. And what we want to do is have positivity as the overwhelming feeling that we're dealing with. The thing to understand is that fear serves no purpose for us. If you're worrying about everything, this can really easily grow in your head and gain momentum. And then you start feeding that, your thoughts start feeding the fear. So if you allow yourself to go on a fearful journey in your head, believe me, it will grow so quickly. So what we need to do is nip that in the bud. The first thing to do is understand that it doesn't help. If by worrying about the coronavirus, we could make it go away, then I would be saying to everyone, right, worry, worry the best you can, put all your effort and energy into worrying. But it doesn't help it, does it? And in fact, everything that we're fearful of, that we're thinking of, is all in our head. It's not actual things, it's not actual moments. If we did, if you did, if I did catch the virus, we would deal with it because we have to. If we have to change the way we live for a while because of the economics that are going on around us, we will deal with that because we have to. If we do lose somebody, we will deal with that because we have to. But these fearful thoughts that you may be having are not have tos. You don't have to feel fear for these because it doesn't make any difference to the outcome. And what it does is affect your health and well-being in the meantime. So right now it's a case of learning how to step away from that fear and allowing positive thoughts to grow. Just as you are programmed to feed fearful thoughts, you can reprogram your mind to feed positive thoughts. So instead of you having worry that overtakes you and just allowing it to take control of you, you are capable of stepping back and going, no, I don't want to go down this route. I want to go down the positive route. And how do you do that? Well, it's about changing how you're feeling. And if you want to change how you're feeling, you have to change what you think about. I'm just going to take you through a really simple, simple little exercise. And it just involves your hands. I want you just to sit with your hands up and feel your hands. Not be touching them, just be aware of the energy, of the feeling, the power you've got in your hands. Now just close your eyes for a minute. Do you know your hands are still there? Are you peeking? <laughs> Do you know your hands are still there? Of course you know your hands are still there. You don't know they're still there because they were there before you closed your eyes. You know they're there because you can feel them. And if just for a couple of minutes, you focus in on the energy that's within your hands, you can be aware you've got a right hand and you've got a left hand. And I'm not doing anything. All I'm doing is focusing my mind on feeling the power within my hands. And just by doing that little practice, stops my mind 
thinking of these surreal things that are going on around me that I can't control, that I don't want to spend too much energy on, that I'd really rather not think about right now. It just means that I can think about my hands and the power in my hands. Now do one other thing, you can open your eyes, clench your fists as tight as you possibly can. Clench them as hard as is possible for you. Can you feel that strength and power in your hands? I know this makes me sound a little bit doolally, but this is taking away the energy that you're giving fearful thoughts and putting it into something physical that is real, that is here, that is now. Right now, you do have this power in your hands. And where does that power come from? What has made your hands squeeze so tight? The thing that's made your hands squeeze so tight is your mind. And while you're focusing on that, you're not thinking these fearful thoughts because you're focusing on the physical, the here, the now. This is what you're able to do. So throughout this week for Daily Positive, I'm just going to be talking about some more little techniques on how to not give energy to those fearful thoughts and try and change them into more positive thoughts. Your fear needs feeding, but if you cut off that supply and instead feed your positive thoughts, you will be amazed at the difference in your state of mind. And right now, that's all we can control. There's so much going on out there that we have to trust that scientists and doctors are just doing their amazing work to get us through this. But what you can do is say, right, I'm not going to be overtaken by worry. I'm not going to be overtaken by fear because it's a waste of my energy. It doesn't help anything. So I'm not going to do that anymore. Give it a go. Just see if you can change that energy that's feeding your fearful thoughts into something that's here and now and present and actual and happening to you at this moment. Even if you can achieve one, two, three, four, five minutes of that today, then that's progress. And then what you can do is start to grow it over the coming days and weeks. You have a good day. Look after yourselves and I'll see you tomorrow. Lots of love. Bye.